Well, here we are again. What did we do? I have no idea what we did. Oh, maybe. We're going to have a little garage sales tail time with Uncle Mike. Hmm. So, we live in a neighborhood, just like most people do, here in the beautiful Northern Virginia area. And our community had a garage sale this weekend. Community garage sale in your own neighborhood? Wow, that's fantastic. Just like John the Cincinnati Picker. Your video was good, bro. And Sawyer's adorable. Two week old. So, our community sales aren't at each individual, each individual houses. Our community has a marina. Yay, hey, hey, expensive marina. So, they do it in the marina parking lots. So, uh, you know, I've been getting emails and we, we've actually sold at our community sale like two years ago. Yeah, did okay. You know, not bad. But we were selling our stuff cheap. It's a garage sale. Or parking lot sale in this instance. So I've been getting emails from our HOA. And uh, the emails I got said it started at 8 to 12. Okay, fine. 8 to noon. That's not long. But that's pretty standard in our area. People are busy. So we get up. We have our coffee. And we head out the door. And we get there at 8. And on the way there it says 9 to noon. Who has a sale from 9 to noon? three hours seriously gonna waste your time three hours so but anyway uh, there was already people setting up and you know, I hate to be the early bird especially an hour early but there was people setting up there was some people that were already completely set up and uh, sorry about the little clickety clackety clues the, the puppies just can't settle down when I'm talking that's the name of the game um, but we get there and there's already people set up and some are in the middle of setting up and we weren't being like, you know, let me see your stuff. Let me dig through your bin. You have an impact. No, people that were set up, we looked at their stuff and, uh, um, uh, it was, you know, stuff. It wasn't that great at all, but, uh, there was a couple things we were interested in. Uh, one in particular was a antique, ink, uh, accordion in its case. It was a weird looking case. I thought it was some weird toolbox at first, but it was an accordion. And we asked the guy, well, he was already pretty much set up, well, how much you want? And he's like, I don't know. We thought he was just doing the whole I don't know thing, you know, shoot me an offer type thing. But he really didn't know. And we were like, so do you have a price in mind at all? And he would never give us a price. We went back twice. Never would give us a price. So I guess he still has his accordion. I don't know. But anyway, we uh, after, pretty quick after that, we gave up on that sale. And we go on down the road to a road that we have had success with before. A lot of homes on this road pretty close to us. Like hundreds and hundreds. Huge neighborhoods. I didn't know if anything was going on down there. We just figured we'd look for signs. And not on that road too long, we see a sign. Community yard sale. Vintage sign too. Hand painted from the 70s. It looked like this community had been there a while. We're like, oh cool, maybe they have some cool old stuff. So we pull in there. We see the first sale, we stop in, there was nothing, we didn't get anything, no big deal. You know what happens, you strike out. So we venture through the neighborhood, no one, no one, we find a second one. Oh, that's okay. We uh, actually bought a couple things. Actually, I forgot one thing on my thing here, I'll tell you about it though. We get a couple things, only spend like a dollar twenty-five or something like that. And we're looking for more. And that's it! Community yard sale, there was two! <laughs> Their sign was more valuable than the stuff they were selling. I should have found out who was in control and offered to buy their sign. It was cool folk art hand painted from the 70s. Anyway, so, yeah. So we ventured down the road a little bit more. Another community yard sale sign. Pull in. And this is a real community yard sale. There We probably stopped at 25 yard sales in this community, you know. Which, you know, of a thousand homes, 25 of them, but still 25 homes. And that's where we got some good stuff. But we also stopped at some thrift stores on Sunday. So you're probably saying, Mike, shut up and show us the stuff. So here we go. This came from one of the uh, good community yard sales. This is a Seth Thomas clock, which aren't that valuable in general, but check that out. It's, it's not a flip clock, but it's a dial clock. And I plugged this in. It looks like it had never been... Or it's been this way for a long time but the lady had her garage right there and I plugged it in and it kept going and she only there's a little damage to the veneer on the top but not much but you know she only wanted a buck for this and check out the uh, back 
or the bottom. You can see the the dials in there. I didn't comp it. Really cool. And that's kind of a theme on a bunch of this stuff. I didn't comp a bunch of it. We just went off experience and yeah, what we thought looked cool. So we'll jump over to a thrift store find. Ooh. What in the world is that, Mike? This is knockoff Legos. <laughs> this is like Legos for poor kids in the 80s. I didn't even have these. That's how poor we were. <laughs> these are best lock construction toys. Look at the price. 30 bucks. But violet and yellow were half off, so it was only $15. You're probably saying, Mike, why would you buy knockoff Legos? Well, one reason, really, is that they're new. The box looks shelf worn all the crap. I thought for sure they were used, but look at this. You see it? They're all in the packages. This is brand new box. The only comp I could find on this was a pre-owned that was up for auction and it sold for 50 or 60 bucks. So this one being new in a shelf worn box, I have no idea. I'll probably list this and if it gets a bunch of watchers but no like offers instantly, I'll probably do an auction on it, but we'll see. You know, maybe somebody will buy it on 150 bucks. I don't know. So that was really cool. You know, the thrift store can still surprise you sometimes. So, what do we got next? Ooh. This was another uh, garage sale in the good community. Uh, these are power soaker little water guns. These aren't fantastic. These aren't like super soakers, but these are from the 90s. They're labeled there, 1997. I got both of these for a dollar. And the lady would not let me leave unless I took the goggles as well. She's like, you're taking these with you too? I'm like, whatever. Honestly, those are probably useless and worthless. and you know, Who knows? But anyway, she made me take them, so I took them. Another Lego set, and this is in a really rough box. I mean, just really super rough. But it's sealed. It has never been opened. And I paid, we got 25% off of this one, so whatever that comes out to, six and change. But this is set number... 6354 the Legoland Town System Pursuit Squad. This is from 1990. If this box was pristine, this thing 150 200 bucks. But being that the box is janked, still okay. You know, I don't know exactly, but still for a six and change, pretty good. That stuff, you know, you're getting back almost to the 80s with Legos. That stuff's really valuable. And I was surprised to find that. So, Happy find, happy days. This board game, the Colt board game, there's none of these on eBay. None. Zero. Sold or listed. Uh, someone did a, uh, what do you call that? Not GoFundMe or one of the things where they raise money to make a product. Fund my project. I don't know what it is. Hey. $7.99, got 25% off, so again, like six and change. This is just felt high quality and it looked weird, you know, and since they, they uh, crowdfunded it, is that what it is? Yeah, crowdfunded. Woo! The old mad cow kicking in. But I think that's okay. So, yeah. Woo! What's that plan? Woo! What's that for? <laughs> this was uh, $8.99, and what do you think this is? Is it a toy? Is it a set on the shelf? A tchotchke? It's a shaker. It's a martini shaker. Check that out. My wife found this one and uh, she said these things sell for about 50 bucks. So yeah, you'd see that on the shelf and you think it was just some, you know, oh, that's just a shelf setting thing. I don't want that. Yeah. You check stuff out. And to go along with the silver theme, my wife also picked this up at a garage sale. This is a Waterford uh, Marquee by Waterford. Little shaker set with the ice. This is like a bottle cooler. This is like a wine cooler, not a not an ice bucket. Because here's the ice bucket. <laughs> so it is the whole set. You got the shaker, the bucket, and the, the wine cellar, whatever you want to call it. Uh, one of these sold used for about 45 or 50 bucks. We gave five bucks for the set. So, yeah, that was pretty good. My wife kind of ran interference with the guy while I looked it up on the phone. <laughs> so that was pretty cool. 
My wife also picked up the cool cell pillow. Generally cell stuff, this one isn't like a cell cloth. It's meant to look like a cell cloth, but it's not a real cell cloth. We know what a real cell cloth looks like because we've sailed. Uh, but still pretty cool. People love selling stuff. And uh, my wife just gave a dollar or two for this at the garage sale. So, yeah, pretty neat. Slick, too. <laughs> eagle plaque. What I think this is, I couldn't find anything online. There's a lots of eagles, there's lots of plaques, lots of stuff. Um, we only gave five and change for that. 25% off, $6.99. Possibly what I think this is, maybe, no guarantee, it may be hung in a, a uh, general's office. Be my little general, lieutenant general. Three stars. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. But that's what I'm going to say when I list it. <laughs> it is still pretty cool, though, and it's dated on the back. It says, September 6, 1969, Hyannis-VAC. I don't know what that means, but it's dated. Somebody wrote it in pencil. So, if anybody knows what Hyannis VAC means, let me know. That'd be cool. Okay. I got myself another steamer, because the ones I keep on buying keep on crapping out. But that's what you get from buying at the thrift store, right? But when you buy new from the thrift store like this, name brand, Rowenta Hand Steamer. Violet and yellow half off, so you know, $17.99 half off, eight and change for a steamer. I needed one. Gotta get my clothing listed up. I've, I've, I've uh, slacked on getting the clothing up because I need to steam a bunch of stuff. So I got a big thing right here. And if you've hung around, whoo, hang around a little bit longer because this right here in front of me is the find of the weekend, both good and bad. So stay tuned after these messages and we got the sunbeam mixer number 2486 this is from the 90s it is dated on the box 1997 this is brand new opened it up sealed brand new paid about 10 bucks for this pretty high price for for a mixer but it's got six attachments instead of just the standard two beaters and like i said it's brand new none listed none sold so what do you do you go for stuff you've sold before experience and I've sold similar stuff usually between 35 and 50 dollars I'll shoot high come down of course if I have to but should be okay these things are pretty popular when you can find them at a garage sale we got a set of five a set it was just five of them it's not really a set but uh, of these little gargoyle little architectural salvage-esque things. They're not in the greatest condition. They have some chips, but that's okay. It's not that bad. My wife thinks these are not super old. She knows about this stuff. She uh, she thinks it may be 60s, but you know, one of them has a chip. So I don't know how I'm gonna sell these yet, but I uh, only gave a dollar or two for all five of them at a garage sale, so really cool. Just unusual. Unusual enough to take a chance, you know? So they're kind of made out of a plaster or a brick type material. Got a little hippo, little mug. 25% off, so you know, dollar fifty or whatever. And this is a made in Japan. My wife looked this up, and there was a there was a sold, but it was like a set. It had something else with it, but still, this should be good for fifteen or twenty bucks. So, pretty nice. Okay, almost to the big thing, almost to the awesome thing right here. We got a set of three wooden buoys. We got, these were priced per piece. We think we only got charged for two of them. We don't know if it was by accident or purpose because we went to our regular cashier who we like a lot and we just get along with her. And we don't know if she gave us one for free or not. We don't know. I think she just accidentally forgot, but um, yeah, we'll mention that. About eight dollar, well, you know, seven and change each on these, which is kind of pricey on these. But all these are Pottery Barn, and they're different sizes, and they have numbers on them, and that's a big deal when it has numbers on them. There were some solds for plain ones, like a set of two plain ones for in the 40s, 
So the set of three, the staggered sizes, with the numbers and everything on them, the three of these may bring from $60 to $75. I'm hoping for more like $75, so maybe more, maybe 100 I don't know. You know, you got to shoot high. Bring in the big bucks. All right, last item is the, what could have been the real home run, but there's a story, of course. This is at a garage sale, and we walk up, and the guy has cool stuff. He has some cool electronics, you know, neighborhood garage sale, cool stuff. And I see this box under the table. This box. Ooh, ooh, it's heavy. It was empty, though. I saw it open, and it was empty. And I saw it was a Toshiba Betamax machine box. So I just asked the guy, I was like, oh, you got the, uh, the Betamax that matches that box? He goes, yes, I do, but couldn't get it to work he's like it worked when I put it up when I stored it and I couldn't get it to work the tape was stuck in it I'm like hmm I'm like well since it doesn't work what do you you know what do you want for it and uh, he him and hauled a little bit and he's like I got it in my garage and all this stuff and uh, he finally shot me a price of 10 bucks I'm like oh well you know you know since it'll work how about five and he's like that's fine five five dollars but let me show you more He also had some tapes, there's a blank tape, and there's some other tapes, some used tapes, but it's good to get this stuff. So, five tapes and one stuck in the player. But it also had the manuals, good stuff, and the remote. Very super, super rare to find a beta with the original box manual remote and everything so the machine is in here it's heavy though so i'm not going to pick it up i'll show you the box a little bit better here but uh, i don't know if i'm going to sell this as is the betamax machine in the original box I don't know if I'm going to sell this as it is or try to tinker with it and get the tape out and fix it. It could be something simple. More than likely it's not. But no comps on this, of course. But it seems like most of the home runs we get are stuff that doesn't have comps. And I've talked about it all the time. It's it's uh, taking a chance on unique stuff, you know, paying the right price. It's, this is very low risk. It's five bucks. What can you lose? I have a feeling the remote and the manuals would make 25 or $35. Easy. You know, so... Uh, and on this I had the tapes and everything, so yeah, awesome find. Too bad it wasn't like brand new. That'd been crazy. <laughs> you know they're out there. Someone's at it. Got a brand new Betamax, but that's it. That was a very limited haul, but we're super picky. Got our auction coming up. Yeah, buddy. Sunday, May 26th. I've got almost all the lots put together. <laughs> I worked on that again today. We have two mystery boxes. One of which is going to have a hundred dollar item in it something that will bring at least a minimum of a hundred dollars one item but it'll have a bunch of other stuff in the box as well so you're talking about a box that could ebay value be three four five hundred dollars so we have our sony laptop our uh, video game lot our hat lot and i'm still searching for the inaugural invitations in the comic books because i can't find them because i'm a big dope <laughs> But anyway, that's it, guys. Thanks to all the old subscribers, new subscribers, everyone in between. Patrons, you guys are awesome. So we will see you guys back on, what, Thursday with the What's Old video. Appreciate it. See you later.